What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a synth pump using Studio One. Now there's plugins that you can use to get this effect. One comes to mind is Waves One Knob Pumper, but I'm going to show you how to do this the old fashioned way using Sidechain in Studio One. Uh, so I'm using a synth loop from the new Drift sound pack from Presonus. If you're a Sphere member, it is already in your account. I just downloaded mine and I'm going to have a lot of fun with this because I really like synth pads and I really like making them pump to give them a different feel. Uh, so this is the synth loop I've got here. All right, so first thing we're gonna do in making this pump is we're gonna get a four on the floor kick, which I've got here. And it doesn't matter what, what kick you use because this isn't going to be heard. So we're going to, I'm using the fat channel and you can use any compressor here, uh, but I like to use the RC500 because it's easy to dial in and can get pretty aggressive. So first thing we're going to do is turn on the side chain and when you do that, just click this and you're going to select uh, that four on the floor kick. And you see I've got it labeled kick only, got it selected. And then uh, from here, we're going to select pre-fader and then turn this fader down. So what that's going to do is now the signal from the kick is going to enter the compressor and will apply to this uh, synth pad. But we're not going to hear it because I've got the fader down and we're on pre-fader. So uh, pulling back up the compressor, we're going to pull back the threshold to get some compression going. All right, so you can kind of hear what we're going for here. We're going to use the attack and release and dial this in. All right, I'm good with that. And once you've got that done, you can also, so we've got the four on the floor. I'm just gonna copy this down to the next beat. And we can get this effect. All right, and then once you've got that, you can add in your other elements, and this is what I've got uh, so far. All right. And that, so that's how you make a synth pump in Studio One. If you like this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. All right, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I invite you to check out my podcast, The Faders Up Podcast, a podcast about pro audio and beyond. Season three is now underway, and in this season, we'll be doing a lot of topics requested by listeners. So if you have a topic you want to hear discussed on the podcast, email us, DM us, or join us in our Facebook group, Faders Up Podcast, and let us know. And if you haven't checked out the podcast yet, I have a link in the description that'll take you to the page.